Figure skater Camila Voliva said that she flew to Seoul. We got to South Korea, we flew to Seoul, the figure skater said in the Telegram channel. Later, Voliva showed how she walks around the city. We came to the most touristy street in Seoul. They sell fish here, Oreo in collaboration with Blackpink, can you imagine? There are a lot of people there, here. There are even clothes for dogs, said Voliva. The skater's season is over, which means it's time to rest. Where do the stars rest? Right. On the sea. Camila Voliva does not lag behind her colleagues on ice, who please her fans not only with beautiful photographs, but also with incendiary dances against the backdrop of the ocean. And what a figure the Russian champion has. Shine. But there is also a photo. Subscribers are thrilled. You're just a queen. You look amazing. How grown up. No longer a little girl already an unrealistically beautiful girl. What perfect lines, what plasticity, a sense of rhythm. Grace. You are just a bomb. Elizaveta Tikamashiva said that she had flown to Mexico. Hey guys. Haven't lost me. I'm in Mexico now. I flew to the master classes together with Alexei Nikolovich, Miss Hin, and Tatyana Nikolaevna, Prokofieva. I will train and be inspired by the new country. I will try to show you my life from here more often. The figure skater wrote. Natalia Bestemianova spoke about the theme for the rhythm dance of the new season. The International Skating Union, ISU, approved the music of the 80s as the musical accompaniment. This is a very pleasant style of our youth. It will be very fun to watch. I think it will be interesting. Will it be difficult? I am sure that such specialists as Julian will cope. Our coaches are the best. Said the Olympic champion in ice dancing. The head of the IOC, Thomas Bach, praised the role of Chinese President Xi Jinping in the development of sports. Bach and Xi Jinping first met in 2008 during the Beijing Summer Olympics. Since then, we have met many times. Hosted the successful Youth Olympic Games in Nanjing in 2014. Then we had a lot of discussions about preparing for the three upcoming Olympics in Asia, Pyeongchang 2018, Tokyo 2020, Beijing 2022. And at each of the meetings I saw a person who lives by the love of sport, who is aware of the values of sport, and his commitment to the unifying mission of sport. This greatly contributes to the development of sports not only in China, but also on a global scale, said the president of the International Olympic Committee, IOC, in an interview with China Media Group. Thomas Bach commented on the G7 statement regarding the admission of Russian athletes. Earlier, the G7 countries stated that they intend to prevent the participation of Russians and Belarusians in international competitions, under the flags of their states. The IOC warmly welcomes the G7's support for the autonomy of sport, and the IOC's recommendation that athletes with a Russian or Belarusian passport only participate in tournaments as individual neutral athletes. This commitment to the autonomy of sports organizations comes at a crucial moment when several governments threaten it. Therefore, we are very grateful to the leaders of the G7 for their unequivocal statement, said the head of the IOC. Oleg Matitsin called the development of cooperation with China a priority. Over the years of work, the subcommittee has proven to be an effective mechanism for a constructive dialogue on all issues on the sports agenda. The development and expansion of sports cooperation with China is a priority for our country and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Our departments continue to work together to implement cross years. About 150 events have been held in Russia. There are still about 300 sports and official events ahead in Russia and China, including within the framework of inter-regional and cross-border cooperation, Matitsin said. The lateral relations between Russia and China in the field of sports continue to develop and are entering a new stage of work. Our management attaches great importance to this work. We have established cooperation in the areas of mass sports, elite sports, and scientific cooperation. Russia provided support in holding training events in various sports. Friendly professional ties have been established between us, and we will be happy to develop them, said Liu Guoyong, deputy head of the State General Administration for Physical Culture and Sports of China.